Hey guys, I think you may remember me doing a comparison on these two locks. Uh, they're both pack lock uh, 100G US sets. Um, the one on the right is their original uh, version, and the one on the left is a commando lock licensed design. So these two are similar in design in that commando lock. Um, let them borrow their um, uh, interlocking um, plate design and the round smooth finish that's very nice um, this one is more like a uh, let's see if I have one here more like a master lock type thing where it kind of gets widest right here in the middle and then it tapers down um, the issue I ha I'm having here let's put the commando lock aside is that the one on the left seems to be a little bit more secure and I can still pick it it doesn't take that long to pick really it just you know yeah Go in there and fight with them pins and get them to the shear line. Doesn't really, that doesn't really require that much. Let's see if I can. Now that I said that, I can't do it. Of course. It's extremely pick resistant today. It wasn't five minutes ago. Of course. There it goes. Finally, Jesus. Whatever. So, easily get into that one. I can easily get into this one, too. Probably takes... Probably going to take me a minute, but well, let's just see. I'm really taking the time to single pin pick this, so give me a moment, try to figure it out. There it goes. So not that hard, but there's a faster way to get into this one, and it doesn't work on the one on the left. Let me lock this back up. Okay, so that you can see we're locked. That will not go anywhere. Now, as we know, this has spool pins in it. Or random security pins. I'm going to put this pick in upside down and just do that rocking technique. And it opens just like that. Now with security pins you should say, oh that's not, that's not right, that shouldn't be happening. It doesn't work on this one. There it is, picking upside down. Try that rocking technique. And just have no dice. Doesn't want to go. Even if I try to actually. Like, oh, okay, if I bitch pick it, it, it'll fall open. So, that's a possibility, I guess. So, you bitch, bitch pick around at it. You know, whatever. Of course, I'm not going to do it now. There it goes. Bitch picking and it goes open. Now there may be a, a reason why this does this. It could be the key bidding. Could be that the bidding is so close together that rocking them is very easy. 
and uh, that might be the case but still don't think that should happen I mean I've looked at the keys for both of these and they're quite similar believe it or not and uh, here as a matter of fact I wasn't gonna get the keys but since I'm talking about the keys either one of these. No, nope, let's see the other one. Yeah, there it is. So here's the key for this one. It's a little it's a little challenging. And here's the key for that other one. So it looks sort of challenging. It works perfectly. I think the point I'm trying to make is even though you use security pins, your uh, your tolerances in manufacturing can um, can kind of render your security pins useless. In the fact that someone could walk up to your lock, even if it is a decently bitted key. I mean, that's not that's not too terrible. I mean, I would I would rely on that. But to just be able to put a pick in upside down and kind of just rock it open, it's ridiculous. Um, if we take a look at Sargent, Sargent doesn't use any security pins. They rely on radical bidding like this and uh, super tight tolerances. I would assume that if this, if, if Packlock really cared about their products, they would. Um, put a little more uh, a little more care into what they're doing maybe those loose tolerances allow me to just you know break it open let's see if I can do it without a without a tension wrench I don't know if that's possible or not <laughs> yeah fuck it it is what it is um, just figured I'd rant a little bit about it and uh, about that. Thanks for watching.